Hello everyone, today I am going to be doing phase 5 phonics with you and I am going to be using one of the twinkle programs that we normally use in class to do this. So, first thing, we are going to be looking at keeping healthy and saying I. Digging for shells, Kit and Sam are digging in the sand. Read the common exception words on the shells as they dig them up. So you can either follow with me on this on one of the PowerPoints. You can find this on Twinkle under Planet. Or if not, you can just watch as I go through and participate from home. So the common exception words are O oh, and there. O, oh, there. O, oh, there. O. Oh there oh there today we are learning to read words that contain i e it was keeping healthy week and all the children in mrs tan's class were going to take part in some exciting food and exercise activities now children said mrs tan who can tell me why we need to eat healthy food so we can grow big and strong said sam that's right, said Mrs. Tan. And who can give me an example of a healthy food? Apples, said Gabby. Crisps, said Jake. Hmm, said Mrs. Tan. Mrs. Tan is asking the children to sort different foods into healthy foods and unhealthy foods. Can you read the labels and help to sort them? Yes. Okay, so we've got healthy and unhealthy. Crisps, where do you think they may go? Oh, I'm going to say unhealthy. Do you agree? Yes. What about pepper? Hmm, healthy. Mushrooms, definitely healthy. Pork pie, hmm, definitely unhealthy. Fried chicken, ooh, delicious but unhealthy. Pasta, healthy section, I think. What about plum pie? Ooh, tasty as it is, unhealthy. Dried figs, yum, healthy. Spied or tried, Mrs. Tan has hidden some foods around the classroom. She asks the children to spy the unhealthy foods and try the healthy foods. What have Kit, Sam and their friends spied or tried? So you can join in in this and see what you have spied or what you have tried. Let's see. So we have, ah, I spied a pork pie. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I tried a melon. I spied a fried squid. I tried some pasta. I spied some crisps. I tried a leek. Well done, children, said Mrs Tan. Just then, Mr Adams, the classroom assistant, came in with a bowl of vegetable broth. The children laughed. Ooh. Why did the children laugh, do you think? Why do you think? Hmm. Oh, his tie was in their broth. Oh no, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, there you are, oh dear. Whoops, a daisy, laughed Mr Adams. I brought this healthy broth for you all to try, but it turns out that my tie likes healthy food too. So today we have learnt I. And then with these PowerPoint presentations, normally there are worksheets that you can print off and work on. However, I know and I'm aware that not everyone has a printer. So, for example, with this particular PowerPoint, there is a Mrs. Tan, Mrs. Tan's food sort game. So you've got healthy section and healthy and not food. And then there are some items there that you can put in the correct places. Either you can print this out or like me, because I don't have a printer, what I've done is I have written healthy, unhealthy and not food. So, and then I've written down all of the foods 
that were on the sheets or you could draw them if you like if you find that easier and then you can sort them so for example let's see let's go with dried figs where are they gonna go healthy unhealthy or not food oh they were healthy weren't they what about tree oh that's not a food that can go there hmm chocolate cake oh definitely unhealthy pork pie yeah we said unhealthy didn't we what else have we got skies oh not food but we see that they do have the eye mm, carrot fries are going to go in my healthy section and then i've got a few left here and i want you to think about where they might go so i've got baked salmon dried herbs french fries tuna salad plum pie pizza magpie poached eggs necktie necktie and strawberry 